Hey, chummers, welcome to Once Upon a Tabletop, the gaming show where we get together and play a board game and role play the action at the table. My name's Bobby Frankenberg. I'm just one of your hosts on this show. And uh, here with me, as always, in every episode, I will start with my co host, Cliff, aka Mr. Johnson. You may know him as Lightning Question Cliff. Um, if you could be any uh, woodland creature, what would it be? Any woodland creature at all? Yes. A bear, because who the hell doesn't want to hibernate through winter? Oh man, that's a good point. Hibernating through winter. Also, bears are scary as hell. Um, and and uh, I I was reading recently about how to survive. You know, things that you read for no reason whatsoever. I was reading recently how to survive a bear attack, <laughs> and basically. If, if a bear, if you encounter a bear and it's not just like eating or being defensive or something like that, like if a bear decides that it wants to eat you, you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like the, point is the survival tip getting the is flash before your eyes. Yeah, the key to survival is not, is either not entering the bear's field of vision or notice or pending that not leading to the bear to the decision to then kill yeah exactly because apparently like there are things you can do if it's like defensive or or just hungry or curious or whatnot but if it's if it's decided that you are going if it if it wants you to die you will die um <laughs> <laughs> next up uh my other guest is oz oz tell everybody what we're going to be playing tonight tonight we are playing root a game of woodland creatures murdering each other for control <laughs> of the forest. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. That's right. It is true. Helping out everyone and making friends. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's right. Well, we are going to be doing that. We'll explain a little bit about how the game works in a, in a minute. It's a super fun, asymmetrical, competitive game that is uh, lots of opportunity for role-playing your faction, but also um, uh, it's just cute and fun and blood thirsty or, or cutthroat is really the word I'm looking for all around. Well, we always have a guest on every show to join us for playing a game. At least one guest, sometimes more, but tonight we have one guest. Uh, you, one is all you need. One is all we need, especially when the guest is Cassie. You know her from uh, our Thursday night streams, Ready Check. She plays World of Warcraft with me and my the rest of my crew. Also, she's got her own Pathfinder show here on the Shadowcasters Network called The Shattered Isles. And, of yeah. course, before all of this, the reason she came on our radar is from her Shadowrun uh, podcast yeah. that she does, yeah. uh, um, Original I... Box Set. Say hello, Cassie. Hi, everybody. I'm so excited. <laughs> We're excited mm. to have you. Um, ask me about my favorite animal. Uh, well, I guess I would be a jerk if I didn't ask you yes. now. No. <laughs> what, what, if, what? If you could be any woodland creature, what would you be, Cassie? I would be a badger. A badger? Yeah. It, because of the, the annoying badger meme or just because that's just your spirit animal? That is my spirit animal. Yeah. It's a... Uh, I think I think it fits. Badgers are kind of cute when they're not like when when they're not mad at you. Yeah. <laughs> but if a badger decides that it's going to make if it's if a badger decides that you're on its shit list, it's going to make your day a living hell. Your day is going to be the worst <laughs> yeah. day. And uh, I think that fits you to a T. You have uh you have yeah. you're you're cute and fuzzy, but you have quite a you don't cross Cassie. I got some <laughs> yeah, I've never been on that on that side of the badger, but um, yeah. but I've seen I've seen when she when, how she can get. I've witnessed it. You know, a survival tip. A survival tip. When a badger decides that it wants you dead, you're going to die. <laughs> exactly. You're going to have the worst day ever. You might not die, but you're going to have the worst day ever. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, well, as Oz said, tonight we are playing Root. Um, it's a game of woodland uh, alliances. I think that, what is the official uh, tagline of this game? Root, a, uh, a game of woodland might and right. And um, it's super, super cute 
and uh, quite war gamey, and um, but uh, it's it's a it's an interesting game. The first asymmetrical game I ever played, which means that everybody plays a little bit differently. Everybody has their own different rule set, and a lot of times here on Once Upon a Tabletop, we kind of give everybody a, an overview of how the rules work. But we're gonna have to do that sort of along the way with this one because the rules, um, while they're while they're they're not too complicated for each individual. Altogether, there's a lot to, to soak in because everybody is doing different things and has different ways that they win. The main point is we're all trying to get victory points. We're trying to be the first one to 30 victory points, and we do that by moving around the map, controlling, uh, controlling clearings, um, exploiting each other, destroying each other's warriors and each other's um, uh, buildings and, and stuff like that. Um, I will give a quick overview. What do you guys think? How about we go and take turns and each of us say, like, who we're playing in this, in this uh, woodland, uh, woodland campaign, war campaign, and uh, exactly like what our motivation is here and why we're, why, why we are who we are, what we're doing. You want to do that? I dig that. And while we're doing yeah. that, make sure you load your music. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, thank Yay, you. I, I, I'm gonna make sure that I get that done before I start here in case our uh, music meister um, has uh, some, <laughs> some good music for everybody to listen to while we're doing that. Um, let, me, uh, let me quickly- I picked the cutest music. <laughs> the cutest yeah. the cutest musics of all. I hear it. It says I'm not authorized to log into your uh, Roll20 table, it looks <laughs> <laughs> You've been denied. <laughs> so I can't hear the music without to. turning on the echoes. Oh no. While well, you guys get that sorted right. out, yeah. I am gonna go ahead and introduce who I am playing. Um, I am playing the, there are four main factions in the main game and I am playing the Marquis de Cat. The Marquis de Cat, we are, the uh, the royal rulers of this land. We have taken it and and established our rightful place as protectors, organizers, and uh, and and uh, you know we we control the woodland and for for good and we create order in the woodland, building uh, sawmills and places for people to work and and we provide jobs and. And uh, we 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 established ourselves here by by rooting out and winning a war years and years ago against the uh, the eerie dynasties, those tyrants who ruled over bird tyrants who ruled over the forest, and we we went to war with them and pushed them out to establish a more fair and uh, and ordered um, rule over over the woodland and. We we can we think we are we consider ourselves to be fair rulers. I would I would say that's true. The, the, the Marquis de Cat, the cat's here. What about um, what about uh, Oz? Who are you going to be playing? So I'm going to be playing the Eerie Dynasty. Oh, sure those cursed good. bird people! Shitting on everything. <laughs> this might be a little too dramatic. Action! Hold on. Uh, ding. Okay, so the yes. The Eerie Dynasty has a bone to pick. It's a group, it's a whole bunch of majestic birds that once ruled this land, but then the cats came and took over all of it. And now, reduced to a single roost in the bottom corner of this map, <laughs> we shall reclaim what was once our and return this forest to its former glory. Excellent. <laughs> There you are. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh yeah, I guess I'm gonna be doing a lot of. Meow, meow. Um, and uh, how about Cassie? Cassie, who are? Uh, who, what faction do you represent in this conflict? I represent the Woodland Alliance. All of the furry, fluffy, cute, adorable, oppressed critters of the forest. First, they were oppressed by the Eerie Dynasty, and now these Marquis de Cats have turned our uh, oppression into a new form of working all day, and we're tired of it. We don't want to do it anymore, and we are going to revolt, and we are going to have a democratic uh, society where everybody can decide what to do instead of being bossed around by these stupid birds and cats. 
Ooh, okay. And uh, finally, finally, Cliff. Perhaps. Dramatic well, pause. I am. <laughs> I am as what they call a vagabond, but I really prefer the term. T you see, all of these these factions who are reclaiming the land or building something big or, you know, trying to spark a revolution. It's just, they're just so caught up in these things. And it's, it's just more important to enjoy life and do the things that matter, like, like mending the fences and building the sheds and... And making friends, because that, that's really what it's all about. You know, at the end of things, if you fight and win through war and bloodshed, what have you got at the end of things? A bunch of resentful people who are all that's left. You've left corpses behind and the seeds of further war. Why not, why not just work together and be friendly to each other? And well, as you see the tinker come about to your different clearings to, to help with things, just remember that I'm here to help. I'm not your enemy. And the knives that I have are just for my protection. <laughs> That's right. We Marquis de Cat, the Marquis de Cat, have heard of the vagabond, and and we we call them a war profiteer. Uh, we've encountered their kind before, uh, but we are going to uh, be be as you may as you see going to be uh, going at it and fighting for uh, control and 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 uh, success here in the woodland. And we're at war. Um, now, quickly, let's explain, Oz. Why don't you do me a favor and tell everybody, how can they get involved? How can they affect the game? This is not just them watching us play, is it, Oz? No, no, this is them screwing with us. So anytime that you, but by supporting us. So anytime that you help the channel in any way, uh, donations, subscriptions, bits, cheers, and follows, you are killing the stream boss slowly. And every time that the stream boss is defeated, we spin the wheel and the wheel has all kinds of great stuff on it to give you, the person who defeated the stream boss, a decision to make on how and who to screw someone or help someone in the game. That's right. There's all sorts of fun things that you can do on the wheel. Um, there's things like, you know, simple things like uh, giving and taking away victory points. I mean, simple, but but big, the, even that. <laughs> giving people, taking away resources, but also really fun things. You can force us to have, like, role play moments. You can uh force us to even some fun secret things that uh that I, I even the other players here don't necessarily know about that i'm going to keep in secret until we roll until it gets spun things that will really mess with the way the game works um and throw a wrench in things i would um i want to uh to encourage you guys to do that because i want to see i want to see all of all of those fun things happen are you guys are you guys ready for this Y'all ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm stalling because <laughs> I'm trying to um I'm trying to make sure that something does not get, uh, happen. Um, unfortunately, okay, I think I fixed it, and um, we are. I am ready. If you're ready, let's do this. Okay. Yes. Do it. All right, so the first up, here's our board. Um, uh, we've got the map. Uh, the, the state of the board at the beginning of the game here is, is our, uh, the Marquis de Cat has, has, its, has presence all over, all over the woodland. And uh, as you can see here in the corner, opposite of the Marquis de Cat's keep, which is over here, opposite corner, the Erie Dynasty's bird army has, has entered the woodland and is now making way to to uh, to attempt to take over. And here, in lowly in the hiding out in the woods by the river, is the vagabond tinker. And uh, he's uh, who knows what he'll do. He's unpredictable. <laughs> 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 and um, that wacky squirrel. And uh, the uh, the woodland alliance represent Incorrect. all of the woodland creature, all the peasantry, all over the citizenry, all over the land. So they will begin to make their presence as they build their rebellion. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start my turn. The the uh, Marquita cat. There's going to be a lot of explanation of how things work. Not a lot, but I'm gonna. We'll be slow at the beginning as we kind of get that in. Hey, Palmer. Thanks for the subscription. 
Hey. Taking a chunk yeah, a out lot. of the uh, Shadowcasters network right there. Thanks, pal. Should we start with, well, we, are, we already started with 1,000, but maybe we'll consider dropping it down on the next one. I don't know. I can't remember how we started on. Uh, we usually do like 500 yeah. per spin. So maybe, yeah. So uh, that's what we'll, we'll uh, how, about, how about this? I got an idea. I've got an idea. We're going to stop for a while second. Yeah, go ahead. While you're fixing whatever, yeah, mm -hmm. reminder also, Twitch Prime, that's a thing. If Thank you have you. Amazon yeah. Prime, you get a free subscription to any channel on Twitch Prime for a month. Uh, so you have to keep resub resubbing. So maybe you're due a subscription and you haven't used it yet. Well, here's your way to assist and yeah. screw with our game. <laughs> also right. supporting a great channel. We love what we do. We love gaming. And we love gaming with you where you guys can mess with us. Absolutely. So I have reset the stream boss to 200 health because this, the, if it was at 500, the sub would have taken 300 out. And now we're at 200. So another 200 it'll hit. And then I'll reset it again to 500. And, um, and we'll, we'll know who's the stream boss at that point. And it'll go, um, next time I promise I will do a better job of setting up the stream boss. But... <laughs> With at no further ado, let's talk about what's happening here. The Marquis de Cat is all about uh, trying to. Palmer just donated two dollars, so there he goes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Are we spinning the wheel already? Before you. Before yeah, hold on. Let me uh, yeah. let, let me do it's my like job and ball, and reset that. Getting, Go ahead. Getting the, uh, the the wheel ready. Uh, just the way the turn breaks down is each one of us goes through our whole turn one at a time, one player at a time. And the turn is broken down into three different phases that are like a time of day. There's the bird song phase, the daylight phase, and the evening phase. And what we do during those phases is very different for each player, just as is how we get to victory points. At this time of the game, our mutual goal is to be the first person to get to 30 victory points. You win. Yay. But stuff might come up that might give people alternate victory conditions. Right. And I'm already, you guys are going to get to see, thanks to Palmer, we love that guy, you're already going to get to see, holy crap, Radio Free Supplist just donated $5. Um, <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> <things are> acting, <laughs> things are acting weird, though, I will say. I, what? I, I, uh, I feel like I have to triple check something. I apologize for this. We're um we're not starting off. <laughs> you guys gotta slow <laughs> down. I was getting distracted. Yeah, we haven't done our technical difficulties yet. Yeah, damage per <laughs> damage per subscriber. <laughs> damage per. Okay, I see what happened. Normally we have we put uh donations at um that we're gonna do a doll a hundred damage per dollar donation is what it should be, um and. It was at half that for some reason. Anyway. All right. So let me reset okay. that one more time because Suplis just hit it again. Uh, and finally, we'll be on track. I apologize, everyone. Uh, st I'm going to stop apologizing now. All right. The Marquis de Cat never apologizes. <laughs> Damn right. Um, so uh, we rule this land, rightfully so. So the first spin wheel is for you, uh, Palmer. Here we go. So we're going to spin the wheel. You guys are going to get to see what happens. Uh, so we, it lands on, boom, you won. Discard a card. So uh, Palmer, right from the beginning, right off the bat, before we even really get to started, you get to show us, since nothing has happened so far, you get to show us who you like the least right now uh, by asking <laughs> someone to discard one of their cards. Um, oh, no. <laughs> so uh, you're going to do that, Palmer, and I'm going to spin it again to find out what uh, Suplis... Our good friend Matt, who's also on our Ready Check stream, is going to be doing for us. Um, you won a Wounded Warrior. So what that means, Wounded Warrior, what that means is that you get to pick, um, you get to pick Suplice, one of us. And right now, the only person who has and is likely to have warriors anytime soon is me and Oz, the Marquis de Cat and the Eerie Dynasties. So you're going to pick one of the two of us and to get a wounded warrior. What that means is the next conflict that we have that involves warriors, um, one of us cannot use one of our warriors um, in that conflict. So um, I would... Uh, at the at the So that I don't have to explain how combat works in this game, I'm just going to say that. One of our warriors will not work in that combat. 
So, but he can be still be killed in the combat. Um, all right, so that's it. Palmer, you get to do that, and uh, and uh, Suplus, you get to do what I just said. Um, so, let's see. Marquita Cat never apologizing is probably why everyone wants to overthrow him. That's right, Suplus. <laughs> It's probably true. <laughs> All right. So when you guys give that, we'll uh, we'll apply it. And in the meantime, I'll get back to taking the first turn here. Thank you guys for uh, supporting that and, and yeah, killing the stream boss. Um, <laughs> all right. So my job as the Marquita Cat is to build infrastructure and to power my war machine. Um, to uh, And I take three turns. First thing I'm going to do is place one wood from my wood supply at one of my sawmills. Uh, we are... Always trying to get wood. Um, so that wood is going to make it possible for me to build uh, more stuff. And I'm going to say that I'm going to build another sawmill because I want more wood to build more buildings because more buildings means for me more points. Um, so I'll put another sawmill, oh, I don't know, over, over, yeah, well, let's put it now, let's put it right here. Uh, <laughs> right here. Uh, <laughs> so that's my build move. That's going to take my wood back because I had to spend that to do it. That gives me one victory point. If, uh, Cliff, you could give me a victory point. And then uh, I will march. Marching oh. is a turn that allows me to take two move actions. Um, so I'm going to march. I'm going to move. I've, I think what I'm actually thinking is is the Marquis de Cat has uh, gotten scouting reports of the uh, Erie dynasties making their re-entry back into the forest. And um, it's, not looking, it's not looking great, you know. So uh, we were surprised by this, unfortunately. So we're going to have to pull back a little bit, maybe, to, a def to take a more defensible uh, position, perhaps. Um, so we're going to pull out of... Uh, pull back here... And maybe, and maybe this one, oh, maybe we'll pull back here and actually we'll do this, that, and no, I like that. I like that. We're going to pull back a little bit, consolidate, consolidate a tiny bit, I think, and um, maybe regroup and see what we're going to do. So that's that move. And th that was a move. What else could I do, perhaps? Um, maybe I'll take another... What kind of cards do I have? I could construct, I have a bunny workshop, so I could construct something, but I don't want to, mm, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Right off the bat, I'm gonna construct this card, uh, which is, as you can see, at Woodland Runners. Uh, it's uh, a card that really just gives me an item and a victory point, so if, if you'll get me another victory point there, Cliff, and also, I am going to take the boots item. Um, for those watching, the boots, the items, are not so much useful for any of us, but they're very useful for the Vagabond, and it makes the Vagabond want to, um, want to be our friend if we, have, <laughs> if we have items. So it's useful for us to have them. All right. So that's that. I think that's going to be my turn uh, in daylight anyway. And now evening, my cleanup phase, I will draw one card and be uh, finished. Okay. All right, so now the Eerie Dynasties will go. Uh, the uh, Palmer had me already discard a card, so I did that. All right, thank um, you, Palmer. Supplis, did yeah. you say who's gonna, who gets a, who gets a wounded unsure. warrior? I think he's still deciding. He's still working on it? All right, you get to hold that card. You can pull it out whenever you want, Supplis. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, I'm, I'm still waiting to find out. Yeah. Anyway, so birdsong, uh, I have to add one or two cards to my decree. Uh, so I am going to, so my, so Erie dynasties, their shtick is they have, uh, decrees and the decrees are actions that I have to do on every turn or else my leader, who is this builder woodpecker right now, uh, We'll just call him Woody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Woody the Builder. Uh, 
That's lame. Uh, so Woody is... Uh, his ability is he ignores my disdain for trade when I craft, which is this thing I have. If I were to craft items, I get less victory points. But anyway, uh, but so otherwise, if I don't follow my decree, I go, the Eerie Dynasties goes into turmoil. My leader's deposed and I have to pick a new leader. Mm -hmm. So I want to make sure that my decrees are things I can actually do. And also, Bobby, you got the minus one wounded warrior thing. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. All right, I'm going to play this card here on build. So um, the thing to note, anything that has this bird icon or this bird suit on top is a wild, meaning uh, it does not matter what uh, what icon I do that action on, because like these clearings have specific icons for them. Right. For the clearings. Yeah, there are four uh, they have, like in the game. Bunnies, yeah, there's... mice, uh, foxes, and birds. And birds, and the birds are wild. wild card. Yeah, so it's in my interest to have wild cards, but if I ever go into turmoil, all of my bird cards are going to cost me negative victory points when that happens. Right. So it's a risk, but it's worth it. All right, so I added one thing to my decree. Then if I have no roosts, but I do. Okay, so daylight. I'm going to craft using roosts, except I have nothing to craft. Then uh, resolve the decree from left to right. So that's going to be first, I recruit. So I can recruit anywhere that I have people in, or birds in. So that's going to go there. And then I'm going to move. So I'm going to move a set of birds over to this mouse clearing. Mm, which the cats just fled. Uh, how many do I want? Let's say four. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I'm okay with four. And then build. So I get to build a roost in a clearing that I control. Uh, so, but bam. Building a roost gets me a victory point. So can I have a victory point, please, Bobby? Uh, yes, you can have a victory point. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's part of my evening phase, actually. Uh, so but that, that's what I get. And then I draw one card... So that is my turn. Wow. For now. All right. For now. The yeah, the uh the birds are slowly beginning their conquest. They see that the cats have left this suspiciously wide open. <laughs> the builder has decided has has begun to build his decree and and the birds must follow mm -hmm. it without question. All right, Woodland Alliance, what's going on? Okay, well, my bird song phase. I my first option would be to revolt, but I haven't built up enough sympathy with the woodland creatures yet. So, I will be spreading some sympathy. And oh, they're so cute! <laughs> they are so cute. This is just so adorable. I just love them, and they're. They're really, really excited to get this revolt on the road. So. <laughs> Let's get this revolt on the road. I think. Three dynasties have perched on top of the, uh, this, <laughs> mouse this mouse village. Excellent. They're just above you, above them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to first uh, do... That, oh, I I added a card to the deck. That was dumb. But uh, I'll have to find it later. <laughs> and so then I'm going to add a sympathy token for from the mouse card that I just put down into a mouse one. I think I'm going to start with this one right here. Yeah. And then, um, let's see. And then I am going to... Do one more sympathy. I'll put this in the discard pile this time, like you're supposed to. And then, do do do. I'm gonna put it right here. And did you did you guys hear the cats? The Marquis de cats are building another another mill, and now they're gonna make us work twice as hard. Can you believe that? Then the Stupid birds. Yeah, the bird 
brains. They're trying to expand their territory again. Can't let them do that. Don't you remember what happened last time? They just shit all over us. <laughs> can't let them That's happen. a few good points. Yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> That's the mouse, obviously. <laughs> you're right about that one. <laughs> Uh, so after I spread my sympathy, um, I can uh, use some do some crafting, which I if I had an option to craft right now I could. So then instead I can uh, mobilize, which means that I can move cards from my hand into my supporters, and I can do that any number of times. So I am going to do. That was for two of those. Opti, and then... thank you for subscribing. Thank you very much. Whittling away that stream boss yeah. over there. Um, make sure also, uh, make sure also Oz to give um, give uh, Cassie two victory points. Yes, please, thank two victory points. And then, um, because I don't have anything to train yet, I haven't revolted and built up my armies. So for right now, it's just sowing the seeds of of discord and sympathy. And in my evening phase. I will, in turn, draw one card. You're going to draw a card, huh? Yes. Gaining sympathy, biding your time. Well, as the as the two fact main as the two big warring parties factions go to war and the Woodland Alliance builds their rebellion, what is the kind and gentle uh, vagabond tinker up to? You're muted. Looks like it's time for me to get to work. <laughs> During my bird song, I refresh my items, which is like flipping them over. Items are how I get things done. But uh, since I started out my at the beginning of the game with none of my items, um, whatever depleted, I don't have to refresh them. And uh, let's see, what's next? I, I may slip into anyone's territory. It doesn't matter whether I rule it or not. I don't care about rules or rulers or any of that garbage. I'm just here to do quests and make friends or enemies. They, you know, attack me and such. So that said, I'm going to slip into cat territory. Into this little clearing here that is a uh, matches a suit of the fox. And that is it for my birdsong phase. During wow. daylight, I can take actions based on... Um, the items that I have, I can flip over item cards like the boot to move an extra time, or I can I can flip them over to do different tasks or to fulfill quests. And I'll demonstrate that now. I've got a satchel and a. I will exhaust them to do this quest, uh, which matches the clearing called logistics help in a fox clearing. I'll show up and talk to the cat. You listen. I've heard. There's a problem with your labor forces getting upset with the extra shifts at the mill. The birds are coming in to wreck things. I just want to let you know that you're fluffy. You're cute. You hardly ever try to eat me. I like you. Um, you should uh, try to make more friends and, and generally get things working better in the forest. I appreciate I appreciate your hardworking attitude, vagabond tinker. I'll fulfill this uh, fox quest and that gets me two cards and I get one victory point. I think, uh, is it Cassie that gives me, them to me? Or, or, yes. Uh, all right, one victory point I there. I think Cassie. so. I think it's me anyway. I'm gonna do it. And then I can also give away cards to people uh, to um, get items from them and improve my relationship with them, which gets me more. So um, I have a feeling this might come in handy for you later, um, Kitty. Thanks. <laughs> So Ooh, just pass me them boots, huh? You don't need them. Yeah, here, I'll give you some boots. You you do a lot of walking, Tinker. And uh, that improves my relationship with the cats by one, which nets me another victory. Oh, yes. Aren't I friendly? <laughs> <laughs> Quite selfless. As a matter of fact, uh, I think... Uh, Hmm. I like you so much, and you're the only person around here anyway. I might as well make good friends while I can, and I'll do two more aids to bump up my relationship one more point with you. Holy moly ravioli. And does that give you another victory point? 
No, actually. Okay. It gives All me right. two more victory ah, points. Ah, excellent. Oh. 1,000, two, 1,000. There we go. Well, Mr. Tinker, you're, uh, you're quite generous today. I think we may become, I think we're becoming fast friends. What say you about that? <laughs> That's good. Try not to get killed out there. There's a lot of birds around. <laughs> Thanks. Good <laughs> advice. <laughs> I think um, I will also then uh, use my special tinker ability to flip over uh, or deplete my torch to take a card from the discard pile matching my clearing, which is Fox. Is there a fox card in the discard pile? There was. Oh, okay. I have to figure out how to find it now. You can right click oh, and search. Is. Wow, helpful tinker. Nice, there we go. And uh, let's see, is there anything else I can... No, I guess not. I could move around and do things, but you know... Actually, maybe I will do that. I will use my boots. That I just got from the cat. To go talk to the bird. <laughs> Howdy! <laughs> nice place you got here. Haven't seen you in a long time. Uh, well, heard about you. My grandfather used to do a lot of work for the birds when they were back in the forest. Uh, you don't say! Well, I just want to say I'm glad you're here and I wanted to welcome you, so uh, have. No. And uh, let's be uh, good friends. You know, whatever happens between you and the cats, that's between you and the cats. Between you and me, you know, good friends, right? And I'll take another victory point for sucking <laughs> up to the birds. <laughs> wow. You should have a total of five victory points by now. Five? Yes, I... because he got one for completing the quest, and, he, right. and he's gotten four so far. I thought he got three for the for the for community relations. Community relations. Three total yeah. for the cat, one from the bird. Yep. Ah, you're right. You're right. Okay. And that it exhausts my uh, capabilities. This man, you do a lot of work. I'm a very busy beaver. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a good person to know and be friends with. Just keep that in mind when you plan your uh, new order. What should we call you? <laughs> Oh, just the Tinker. That's what I prefer. The Some tinker. people call me the Vagabond, but, you know, Tinker, that's more respectful and much more apt, you know? I tinker with things. I make them better. <laughs> All right, the Tinkerer. You may, for tonight, stay in our roost as a welcomed guest. Wow. Esteemed guest, and we will see what we can do with the ingredients that you have given us for success. We've seen those roosts. You just better wash your hands when you're done. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll make sure there's a good branch over my... And, uh, <laughs> with that, I end my turn. Uh, since I have no coins uh, and my items aren't repaired or aren't damaged, I'm not in a forest, and I don't have too many... Uh, there's not really anything for me to do at the evening, so I'm just going to laze around in the uh, in the clearing and enjoy the birds... Chummer Jim says that uh, that uh, Cliff Prism Shard is uh, is an arms dealer. Sweet, <laughs> 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 going around and uh, taking care of business that way. Hey, I make deals that I have two arms. What else am I supposed to do in this world? <laughs> That's right. What, what what can a beaver tinker do in in this this woodland world that we live in? All right, so it is now the Marquita Cat's turn. To begin with, I always place one wood at the beginning of my turn at each of my sawmills. So I built a sawmill last turn. That gives me two sawmills here. Um, and then uh, and then, next thing I do is I can craft using my workshops. I still only have the one bunny workshop. And um, let's see, is there anything I can do with it? I don't think there's anything that I want to do with it right now. But what I can do is still build. And I'm going to use those two wood that I just got to build yet another sawmill. Um, so I'm going to drop, his influence. drop them sawmills all over. All right. Ripping those mice into 
into sawmill mode. Yes. Yeah. Crank up those sawmills, chop down those trees. We have lumber to make. We are, we're not, we're not, you, we're not running a, a siesta here. Do cats know about siestas? <laughs> they know all about siestas, my That's friend. True. That's true. That's they do true. Have the day. That's true. The cats are known for siestas. Um, we're running a war machine. The eerie are back, and we are not about to let them take our lands. All right, I need two victory points for that. Uh, sawmill that I just built. Um, so I am going to... I am going to, uh, again, march. Now, first I'm going to recruit. And use one of my turns to recruit, I think. And these birds are making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um... As they should, you serper. We merely saw injustice in this forest and decided to right a wrong. All right. I believe that we are going to recruit. Recruiting allows me at my recruiter buildings, which I have one right here, to place another warrior. That's what recruiting does for me. Um, also, I'm going to use a move action, which allows me to take two, or use a march, which allows me to take two move actions. I'm going to move back again from here. Um, and then also, let's see, where do we got fox stuff going on? Fox, 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 foxy fox. Mm. F. <sighs> I don't know that I want to... I'm gonna have to. I don't. I don't find this a pleasant proposition. But I'm gonna back it off again. I'm gonna consolidate my efforts. <laughs> Call them scaredy cats for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so that's three moves. But you know what? I've got six cards here. I might as well. Oh, I can't. Dang it. Well, what I'll do is I will. Uh, I, I've seen the sawmills. All right. All right, you, you, uh, f where is, uh, where is one of them? We'll do it in the, uh, right near the keep. The foxes are like, you, f all right, foxes, it's time to kick it into high gear. We need more wood for more building. We need to make sure that this operation and this war is running smoothly. And I'm going to overwork the, uh, we need more wood. We can't get rid. We're just getting towards them. You, you're gonna get this one day. I heard that over in the rabbit, rabbit nook that they are starting our well, vault. It's gonna be great. Is that what you just heard? Don't... Said the Marquis de Cat spy. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're well then, no maybe we. Nothing. <laughs> maybe we're going to have to teach the your friends a lesson. And then he sends orders to overwork the ma the mice in the mouse clearing. Did you move a second um, cat warrior into the rabbit one? Um, yes. Wait, no, hold on. Let me think. Because I that was, only that was on my one. That was on my last turn, I think. Where would that have gone? No, because I just moved from the fox clearing. I moved out of both fox clearings ah. on the thing. So that would have been on the last turn. Okay. That I was I referring. That. Did you, you didn't move this one? I'm moving it right now. Into I, that one. I did not move it into that okay. one on this turn. I apologize. For some reason, I only saw one there last time. That's my bad. <laughs> Let's see. So I'm overworking the mice. No. That's what you get. <laughs> Maybe next time you'll know your place. And the, and then the cat swipes one of the mice children. Right. And eats it. <laughs> <laughs> know your place, mice. You're gonna. You can't revolt if you're too busy working. The 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 Marquis de cat clearly don't understand how or why revolts happen. Um, <laughs> all right. So that happened. Those are all my actions, and um. Yes. Palmer donated $2 and has become the stream boss. So as I...
Spin the wheel. Yeah, precisely. As I um, as I draw another card, I will uh, spin the wheel. Palmer, thank you, my friend, for uh, su supporting us in that, with that donation. We're gonna spin the wheel here and see what happens. Ooh, let's get something good. Here we go. No whammies. You won. Draw a card, Palmer. You get to pick someone to draw a card. Um, so, uh, so that's what you're going to be doing. Uh, don't feel bad about what you did last time. You don't have to undo what you did to Oz. You, uh, you are. <laughs> um, all right. So that was uh, the Marquita Cat's yeah, you are turn. You're certainly entitled to do so. <laughs> That was or the you could turn. help the Woodland Alliance overthrow their oppressors, Palmer. Duh. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, birdsong. Uh, I, I have to add a card to my decree. So, Woody, from the from his roost. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on, Cassie. I know what happened. Okay. I put it in the wrong place. This there's no connection between these two. It's supposed to be over here. Ah, okay. So sorry about that. Now, now that makes sense. Okay. And the world is right again. All right. <laughs> All right. So, uh, having seen to a spectacular feast last night with uh, with the tinkerer. Oh, oopsie. <laughs> What'd you eat? I'm, uh, is now this? Oh, uh, well, we earthworms mainly. The tinker. The, the cats. What? I, I messed the card pile up. Which one? It's, it's over here now. Oh, you just need me to move it back? Yes, thank you. There you go. Technical difficulty. <laughs> okay, so, um, so it is now morning, and I need to add a card to my decree. And looking at my options, I don't... Woody! Did you draw your card? Cassie, sorry to interrupt. Cassie Palmer has said that uh, the stream boss, he has I power did. over this, saw that you get to draw a card. Did you get one? I did. Yeah, right. that's where the... That oh, that's, how, that's, why you, yeah. that's why you messed up the deck. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> nice. Uh, so not looking at most of my options, I am going to have to place a card that is not a bird on something. And I think I'm going to... Oh, I... ooh, ooh. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> That is bad. That is not good. Uh, okay, I can. I sh oof. Okay. Yeah. I. 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 Okay. Just I want to do both of these things. I have a question. When I want to craft, can I craft any amount of cards that I want, or do I need to have? No, great question. Um, each roost can only be used once for crafting. Gotcha. So you can craft on your turn multiple cards, but each roost can only be used for crafting one time. Gotcha. Then that makes my decision easier. Yeah. Okay. So I will play a fox card on my recruit. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Ding. I'm putting him upside down so I can see, like, what I have. Uh, I should have done this earlier. Okay, so I did... So I've set a decree that we shall move from Fox Territories. And then all of the birds will look at me and be like, what? We, we don't have bird territories! And I'm going to say... I mean, Fox Territories. They say, well... <laughs> Watch. <laughs> the Eerie Dynasty shall take what is there. And so let's see. We're going to craft using roots. I can't craft anything yet, but I am going to resolve the decrees. So we're going to recruit. And we're going to recruit uh, there. There. Hold on. We're going to recruit here. You can recruit anywhere. It's going to be in this mouse clearing. Well, that and rec then, new recruits a drunk. <laughs> yeah, right. and then we are going to move one is going to be from this mouse clearing moving further into the wood the drunk comes in here yes okay 
And then I also have to move from the fox clearing. So these people are going to, can they move? They can move more than once, right? If I do that or. Who now? Yes. What are you talking about? So if I, if I moved birds from one clearing to the next, can I then move the birds I just moved? Yeah, you can move them if back. I decrease that if, yes, you can move them again. Okay. That's fine because I want to wage war. Wow. Ah! Dun, dun, dun. Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Be careful, <gasps> birds. We can't eat birds for breakfast, literally. And your eggs. We make omelets. Uh, although, oh wait, I can't actually battle because I didn't put a decree in battle. So. <laughs> Impotent rage. <laughs> well, that's going to screw with me. Uh, that's OK. I will set a roost. I will build a roost in this bunny clearing. Oh, you have to control it, but you do control it because I do control it because the birds only have to have don't have to have more presence to control. They can they control it. Equal presence presence. More tokens than yep. the other than the other parties mm -hmm. combined or any party, any one party in a clearing. How does how does that work? No, you're it's uh, whoever has the most uh, warriors and tokens combined. Gotcha. So now I have. I look down upon the cats and say, consider this a warning. We will raise everything that you have built, that you have used, that you have taken from us to build your empire. We shall take it back and then some. And then we poop on your head. <laughs> no! <laughs> Do you know how- My livery! <laughs> Do you know how long it takes to get bird poop out of fur? That's why I did it. Ha! You gotta lick it off with your mouth, you nasty cat. <laughs> oh, gross. But true. All right. All right, so I score two victory points for the number of roosts I have. And so, Bobby, two victory points, please. And then I'm going to draw two cards, and then that will end my turn. Two victory points, two cards. All right. Well, Woodland Alliance. All right. What you got? So, what have I got? Show you. Got. First, I got some sympathy. Come on. Let's see, let me double check and make sure I got this card. Yeah. This is the one I'm going to put down. And then I'm going to put down another. Sympathy in the next bunny burrow over here. Sympathy spreading everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to... Let's see. I'm only going to do one sympathy for right now. Um, and then with the in, during daylight phase, I will uh, do some crafting because I have at least one bunny burrow i can uh get me some to take a visit to my friends and pick up some new boots <laughs> i got new shoes and i get another victory point from that so that's two victory points and mm. then i get my shoes where's my shoes maybe just maybe i'll get a visit from my uh friendly tinker friend perhaps I don't know where it went. I threw it somewhere. Sorry, it's gone now. I'm the worst at. <laughs> maybe maybe we'll get a visit from the Tinker tonight. <laughs> maybe yes. You gotta put your boots out so the Tinker will know that uh, that you have new boots. Oh, so... mommy! If I put my boots outside tonight, do you think the Tinker will come to visit? <laughs> 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 maybe, maybe. And I'm gonna put move. I'm going to mobilize for that, and then I'm going to draw a 
card. And that should be my turn. Although I don't know where the boots went, honestly. Like, I thought I'd put them over here, and now they're, like, just gone. <laughs> mommy! Mommy, my boots! <laughs> <disappeared>. oh my <laughs> <God>. <laughs> the, the tinker has already here. come! <laughs> I missed him, just like I missed my meals. <laughs> <laughs> where is, where is the boot? Where are the boots? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh, the tinker came. <laughs> the tinker came and took the boots preemptively. <laughs> Here we will. Uh, oh, there are some. There There's you go. one. Did you find we'll it? Take them from the starting items. I don't. Know yeah, that's what I was about to ones. say. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Take, take it from the starting items. That, that's oh, and fine. Then I, and then I discard this one after it's done. So there you go. And I drew my card, so yes, I'm done. Now we wait for the tinker to come. Make Buddy, all right. I, I hear that at the keep, they eat all the cheese that they want. They do eat all the cheese, and someday you'll be able to eat all the cheese too. We just gotta get those cats... Out, and, oh, and then, did you hear? Do you hear? The, the birds shat on the cats, and then they made the cats eat it. Can you believe that? That's amazing. Yay! That's yay, amazing. yay. <laughs> Go birds! Yay! Well, oh, for now. there's there's the whistle. Breaks over. Get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> You're starting your fourth shift. <laughs> the tanker, the beaver, kind of crawls out from underneath his tent and. Starts to pack up in the, in the bird dominated area. Oh, this has been pretty nice. Uh, oh, let's see. I get to refresh three items. I'll refresh these ones. Oh, and then it was one more. And uh, besides refreshing those, I may slip. Let's me move to a clearing or a forest at no cost. So I'm going to move to. You know, there's something about this morning. Some scent in the air coming from coming from the river. It's like someone someone set out some boots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wandering back this way to this mouse clear. Look around and uh, see all the shambles about. No one seems to be around, but oh no, wait, there are people about running the mill, working on the the bridge and just generally uh taking care of things but uh before i trouble them i'm going to i'm going to flip over this torch of mine and look into these nearby ruins Ooh. Ooh, let's see what we find so the vagabond one of the things they do is they go and explore ruins which gets them an item a random item that's been placed but also frees up a building slot in that location Hmm, interesting. Another bag. I suppose I can use this. Not quite what I was hoping for, but oh well. Um, now I've look around and see uh, after I come out of uh, come out of these ruins, I see all these these different mice that are around. They're looking up and they've been they've been worked hard and they're hungry and they're overtired. And I look look at them and say, you know, I've I've been hearing things lately about how the cats have been treating you, and it hasn't been all that great. Been miserable. They work us double shifts all the time. I don't know if I'll be able to stay awake for the next one. And if I can fall asleep on the job one more time, they're gonna take my head off. Oh yes. man, I don't know how you could possibly stand for it here. They take this and know that I'm a good friend to all creatures, big and small. <laughs> oh, thank so you, I'll sir. Take a victory point, please. Thank you, Mr. Tinker. And I'll take those boots. All right, three point. And at this time, I'm going to go ahead and look around and, you know, this bridge could be a bit better and uh, your mill's a bit squeaky. Let me see what I can do about that. And I set about doing some logistics and um, I'll use a sack and boot to complete that quest. So I'll take a victory point for that, please. Wow. Climbing up that victory track. Watch that vagabond. He's, a, right. he's a sneaky fella. Did you need one more point after that? I apologize. Uh, yep. 
Yes, I've had okay. two so far this turn. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, there we go. You're one right, seven victory, victory points. One for the quest. And then, uh, you know, it looks like these boots have been made well. I'll put them to their intended use. And I'm going to wander off somewhere. Somewhere over by the cats, maybe. Oh, hold on. Let me make sure that's where I want to go. Oh, I found the missing boot. It looks like the cat in the fox clearing stole it. Oh, <laughs> that bastard cat. Yeah. Yep, I'm going to move over here where the cats are. And uh, I'm going to use my armor to craft. Uh, it matches the, the clearing them in, which is the fox. And I've got a crossbow. <gasps> so I did this. I get a victory point. I get a crossbow. Okay. Never know when you're going to need this with all this tension building. Everyone <laughs> getting all upset about everything. Cats and birds getting ready to fight each other. You never know when you're going to need a crossbow. <laughs> That's what I always say. <laughs> and let's see here. I've got enough... Uh, Sacks to accommodate for my items, counting the exhausted ones, so I'm good for my turn. Nice. <clears throat> All right. Well, I think that that puts us in a really good position right now. We are at, uh, to give an update with where things are, the, um, the Eerie Dynasties and the Woodland Alliance are both at two victory, po or three victory points, rather, the Marquita Cat is at four victory points, and the Vagabond, who's been sk skirting and slipping around the forest and helping people out and completing quests, is at a whopping eight victory points. Now, he might he might start to earn the uh, the gaze of some of the more um, some of the more uh, ornery factions <laughs> around here who don't <laughs> yeah. want him to be as successful as he might be, and uh, mm -hmm. maybe drawing drawing too much attention to himself. Um, we'll see how that turns out, but I think we're going to take our first break for the night. You guys, thank you so far, so far for, uh, for, for destroying and killing the stream boss. Palmer is the stream boss right now. And, um, we have a grand tradition of having a new stream boss after every break. Um, and because mostly because we like the, we like once, once you don't have us to focus on during the break, you guys should all be focusing your, um, aggressive energies toward the stream boss and doing damage to that person and uh, becoming the stream boss yourself by landing the killing blow and getting to spin the wheel. We want to be able to spin that wheel as soon as we get back. So um, we're going to yeah. take, take a quick five-minute break. Um, everybody get up and stretch their legs and uh, take, a, take a bathroom break and get something to drink, and we'll be right back to, to see how we go. We're just getting started. So... Um, See but the tensions are building. Tensions are building. Tell your friends to come and watch. I think it's going to only get better. So um, let's. We'll see you back in five minutes, guys. <laughs> 